Hey, what's up everybody? In this Descript tutorial, we're gonna demonstrate how to create voiceovers from text. So the first thing we're gonna do obviously is open up Descript and we're gonna come down and we'll, we'll create a project if needed, but once we've got a project created, we're just gonna hit this add new button and we're gonna hit composition. And if you haven't already created your, your script or your text, uh, what I would suggest is that you do that and then come into this. Um, you can create videos and pull them into uh, into here to, to be transcribed. But for this demonstration, what we're going to do is just create some text and then we're going to use a, uh, a voiceover, one of the many multiple voiceover options to use on that text. I'm going to just pull in uh, what is one of my favorite tools, it's Yive Writer, and we're going to just type in how to create an overdub, and we're going to generate the article while we're here. Um, hopefully, it, it should only take a few seconds. Uh, once we actually have this script written, what we'll do is we'll select one voice to demonstrate, but I'm going to give you a couple different voice options so you can hear it. Um, I do apologize in advance if you can't hear. I'm going to jack my microphones uh, or my speakers up in my, uh, in my office here, but um, I, I use Camtasia. And it doesn't do a good job of pulling the audio from my computer for some reason. Um, it does, uh, you know, I, I use a snowball microphone and it pulls my audio as I'm speaking. But in the last video demonstration I did, uh, it didn't do a very good job. So hopefully this will work. But either way, what I'm going to do is now that we have our, uh, our short bit of copy, um, our, our, our short bit of text uh, here, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to type it in and give it a second and so what we're going to choose is a speaker so there are, again are multiple different speakers that we can choose from i actually created an overdub of my voice already but i want to show you just uh nicholas emily don and here's where i'm going to jack my my speakers up a little bit so that you can hear it uh hopefully you can hear these voices they came and he whistled and shouted a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer and I in my cap had just settled our brains. As you can see, you can choose from a couple different um, styles of voice. Uh, Emily comes with just a formal or four. four. Um, Don has an angry voice. It didn't start well with the slowest service ever, but culminated when I got on my flight and realized that I had paid the equivalent of $33 Canadian for the absolute worst mess of a lunch I have ever purchased. Nurture the sensation of happiness and love. The most, ex the most amazing exotic place I have been to is Zanzibar, just up the coast of Tanzania. I'm speechless. I'm startled to find out that not only are there actual pigeons playing ping pong in my living room, so you get an idea. Each one of these comes with a, double, a couple different variations. Your mornings are spent relaxed, focused, and thoughtful. In earlier videos, I actually I'll link to an overdub example of how I created my own voice in here. Um, you can actually just kind of use your own voice and use the scripts from from there. From there, we want to also once they fill out that form, we want to take them to us. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use two different speakers. I'm going to demonstrate. Um, with, well, I'll show a couple. So we're gonna start with Nicholas and we're just gonna use a neutral voice. Uh, and then what we'll do is we're gonna switch over into my voice. From there, we wanna Oops, also didn't mean want to, to do that. Out that form. Uh, we're gonna switch to, and we're literally just clicking um, to switch. And then we'll choose a third voice and uh, we'll do Don. Um, you know what, let's see. Yeah, so that, that's pretty good. So uh, as you can see, it's kind of blank down here at the bottom. What it does take is a few moments to, uh, to apply that voice. And what will happen is eventually you'll start to see um, a little bit of uh, graphics underneath here to kind of show that there's been a voice uh, applied to it. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna wait here. Uh, I'm, not gonna, I'm just gonna pause the video and then we'll come back once that's, uh, that's oh, there it is. It's starting to convert it to audio right now and you can see how it's starting to pop that in. Um, but I will give it a few seconds just to, uh, to finish the, the rest of the, uh, the audio. 
All right, so it finished recording, uh, or I'm sorry, uh, putting audio to it. And as you can see, it's kind of uh, got this sound wave down here at the bottom. And uh, what it does is it kind of shows up colored once it's, uh, once it's finished. And it looks like it uh, applies a specific color to each different name. So I'm going to just give you a demonstration, uh, including my name um, and my voice. I honestly never, ever read this uh, aloud in any way, shape, or form. So we'll hear... As you can hear my voice right now, we'll, we'll hear the comparative voice uh, of the, uh, the overdub um, as a voiceover capability. So, here we go. Assuming you have a basic understanding of recording and editing audio, creating an overdub in your home studio is a relatively simple process. The first step is to record a track of the original performance. This can be done using a microphone or direct input into your audio interface. Once you have the original track recorded, you can then record the overdub on a separate track. If you are using a microphone, you will need to position it in such a way that it does not pick up the original track. This can be done by using a separate microphone or by using acoustic treatment to isolate the two tracks. Once you have the overdub track recorded, you can then edit it and mix it with the original track as desired. If you are using a DI, you will need to create an auxiliary send from your audio interface. This will allow you to route the signal from the original track to the overdub track without having to physically repatch your cables. Once you have the aux send set up, you can record the overdub track and edit it as desired. There are a few things to... All right, so that's a pretty good demonstration, I think, um, of how uh, how quality the the voiceovers are. Um, it really doesn't take any any th any real you know challenging capabilities to, to do this. One thing I found is um, if you're writing text uh, or if your script has something where it's uh, it's numbers focused, um, like for instance Queen Elizabeth II. If you put Queen Elizabeth I, I or number two, um, it will actually write or it'll speak it out as Queen Elizabeth I, I rather than Queen Elizabeth II. So really all you would go in and do is just change the text to say the second instead of I, I. Um, it will skip occasional things in parentheses uh, as you may have noticed, um, but it does a really, really good job for the most part. And what I always suggest is before you actually download that voiceover, uh, what you would do is just go ahead and listen to it, make sure it, it, it sounds the right way. Um, sometimes names, you need to, uh, to sound out phonetically or write out phonetically. Um, so if, uh, you know, if you had some, some very difficult last name, um, you might need to just kind of write it out phonetically so that it's said cor correctly, like Mike Krzyzewski, for example. Um, if you wrote it the way, uh, the way it's actually spelled, there's no way the voiceover would actually get it right. So uh, once we have that done, all we're going to do is we're going to go into File, Composition, and Publish. And from there, we have a couple different choices um, as far as how the export's going to come out. And uh, you know, obviously, you want to just change your your, your page name, um, the page access, who can who can access it, all those stuff, all those different things. Um, but really, what what you're going to get to is the ability to get text, subtitles, audio. Um, you can do timeline exports. Very, very, um, very cool little tool. I'm a big fan of Descript. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you do have any questions or any concerns, uh, with one of my other Descript videos, uh, there was some, some audio issues. So that's why I'm making this video right now. Um, so if you do have any concerns, please let, let me know in the comments and I'll do my best to make sure they're, uh, they're addre addressed. As always, please like, comment, or subscribe. And I appreciate you watching our video. Thanks.